so till now we have understood what a number line is how to solve questions using number line we have also seen what absolute value of a real number is what logarithms are now just we move on to the very a very very standard very important inequality which is known as the arithmetic geometric mean inequality now arithmetic geometric mean inequality before we start with this inequality we must know what an arithmetic mean is what a geometric mean is arithmetic mean is also denoted by am geometric mean is also denoted by gm let's understand what these two are arithmetic mean okay is defined as it's also known as average it is just the average of a set of numbers suppose i am given numbers a1 a2 a3 till an then arithmetic mean of this number is simply the sum of this numbers divided by the number of numbers this is the arithmetic mean so the, you see that this is the average the geometric mean is defined only for positive numbers the numbers has to be positive The, all those numbers are has to be positive then given that the numbers are positive the geometric mean is defined as root of if i have n numbers like this okay this is the arithmetic mean this is the geometric mean what the arithmetic geometric mean inequality says is given a set of numbers a1 a2 a3 till an assuming that all of them are positive the first condition remember should be that a1 a2 an all should be positive given that these numbers are positive the arithmetic geometric mean inequality says that the arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean the equality condition holds when all the numbers are equal so this is the arithmetic geometric mean inequality equality okay now one of the question which i should ask you is why in case of geometric mean why have i assumed that all the numbers have to be positive why should all the numbers be positive in case of geometric mean just take a moment and think over that but i'll say the answer the reason is if suppose any of them is negative i have a square root term if i have any of them negative or if i have odd number of terms as negative i'll get a negative expression in this case right i'll get a negative expression and now if i get a negative expressions root of that is a uh, imaginary number so to avoid all those complications we just keep geometric mean restricted to positive numbers okay now let's come to the topic arithmetic mean uh, geometric mean in quality we have already discussed that in this inequality arithmetic mean is greater than equal to the geometric mean the equality condition holds if all these numbers are equal if remember if all the numbers are equal the arithmetic mean is just the number and similarly the geometric mean is the same number okay okay now let's again the same approach let's solve some questions in this inequality the first question the first question which is a very common question which is the very common question in this inequality is if abc are three distinct positive remember i say distinct positive numbers then which of them is correct 
the options are I need to find which of this options are correct for this expression this expression the first option is this expression this expression is greater than 9 the second expression is this expression is less than 9 the third answer option is this expression is greater than or equal to 9 fourth option is this is less than or equal to 9 obviously I'm saying distinct positive numbers so if I am if I know that I have to use the arithmetic geometric mean inequality, then I know that this option and this option is incorrect because this option would be correct if the numbers would have been same. Here we have been mentioned that the numbers are distinct, so these two options are wrong. False. Now we have to see which of these two options are correct. Okay. We know that Similarly, we also know, if I write like this, okay, now if I multiply these two, we'll get, this two will get, get cancelled and I'll get this as greater than 9. So the option is this, this is the correct option, right? Now we'll solve questions on arithmetic mean geometric inequality when we go on to the tutorial section of this lecture. Now let's move on to some other very important inequalities. One of the other very important inequalities, if a1, a2 till an are n positive distinct real numbers then the arithmetic mean of mth powers is greater than the mth power of a m ok if m is less than 0 and m is greater than 1 now the reverse is true that this is less than this if m lies in the interval of 0 to 1. Now what is the arithmetic mean of mth powers? What I mean is you take a1, you raise it to the power m, a2 to the power m till a n to the power m. This is the arithmetic mean. This is always greater than or less than depending on the condition. The arithmetic mean of the am. am is This inequality is helpful in exams like AIEEE. In JEE, this inequality may be of use while solving some prob problem, but I don't think directly they'll ask any question directly on this inequality. They may ask question which will need this inequality. Okay.